so in lieu of the Sonoma Drift Day, um, I decided I, the card looks like dog shit with no lip on there. So I'm gonna double side stick tape this sexy thing real fast and get it back on and mounted because I've needed to. The only reason I really didn't want to is because my driveway is so steep and you guys, I think you guys have seen it coming out of this. I'm probably gonna scrape the bottom of it. I'm gonna try and angle it so I don't. My buddy said I can go get like a Taps plastic, like a black sheet and go across uh, the bottom of it. But at the end of the day, like I rarely even drive this thing. Oh, that was cute. I rarely even drive this thing, so I, I think I'll be okay mounting it right now. So we're gonna get this thing up there. It's kind of cool about these uh, tires too that I really don't run is I didn't even burn through these. They were already kind of lower on the tread, but I hardly did any damage to them because I just kept spinning out. So learning real quick, like watching my footage back and stuff and then seeing what some people sent me, I needed to be in a higher gear, especially for the power that I had, because like in first and second, they take me, first takes me to 50, second takes me to 90, but I can't look at it like that. I need the wheel speed even further because when I let off the throttle, I need the momentum of the wheels to take me through the rest of the drift instead of staying on the throttle, if that makes sense. Because I watched Crick do it and I watched one of, I think the Justin guy with the RB25 S13, um, I watched him just punch the throttle real quick at a huge stab, and I'm assuming they're in like like third, maybe fourth. But they had, depending on what their gear ratios are, which mine is very long, they had a lot of wheel speed where they like let off the throttle, and they weren't even you couldn't even hear their car because they weren't really driving, and they were just like coasting through the drift. So I, I got to get good at that. However, this is just a very hard car to learn on with the power. So uh, I might even take it back out there. I don't know. I didn't really do much damage to it, so we'll see. I think one of the wheel bearings is fucked. That's about it. I hear like a little <laughs> when I make a turn. Uh, so yeah, not bad. Not bad to learn real fast and figure it out. I think that's cool. Um, the drift car though, however, with the 1J, that'll be fully gutted, just the 1JZ, bare minimum with coilovers, probably pretty stiff, like maybe 18K, 16K. Um, we'll see what I end up deciding as far as the spring rates. And then no suspension mods beyond that. Uh, maybe easy knuckles, maybe. I'm gonna start off with stock angle first. And then, so, coilovers and, well, the diff, that's it. We're just gonna go out and send it with that motor and see what happens. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. It's probably like a bird. Watch it be like a bird or a lizard or something. This is gonna be hilarious. Yeah, he's going nuts over something right now. Yeah, down there? No, he's right here. He's like looking at something and he doesn't know what it is. I think it's an animal, we'll see. What is it, buddy? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Are you kidding me? It's a fucking feather from a... <laughs> Buddy. It's like an inside of a bird feather. He's just going nuts over it. He, he can't figure out what it is. Hey, hey, hey. You want this? You want that? You freaking out over that? It's a feather. It's a feather. Look at him. Look. Oh, don't eat it. You just fucking ate it. Spit it out. Spit it out. You ate the whole fucking thing. What was that? Jesus Christ, why'd you eat that? Dumbass, it was a feather. What are you doing? What was that, you psycho? Get inside, weirdo. Come on. Just ate a baby turkey feather, dude. Come on, come on. Go, it go in there, good. go in the back. Oof, just O-O-F, right there. This is that big boy shit. Um, Rob, dude, you are incredibly good at painting. I know it's a red. I know it should be the exact same color as what the car is, but like, he didn't even do anything to match it. I mean, this car paint isn't crazy new. It is, but it's not super new. But I mean, he just sprayed it perfectly to where it matches. It's so good. And now, I just touched that up, my little touch-up paint thing right there. So, it's a little hidden, but it looks good now. In the summer, after a while, this has like gotten really hot and lifted, right? I just touched the paint. This got really hot and lifted. And when I opened the back door, like every time you would go to pull this open, this would pull, it would like basically be peeled up a little bit. It would catch on the inside of this one and then just rip off. And then it'd be bent as hell and you'd be pissed. And yeah, but now we're looking good. Next is going to be the grill. All right, now this is kind of funny. I definitely don't hit anything in my car and the lip's been off it for a while. So I've just driven it out yesterday and you can see in the footage here. Oh, right over the cone! <laughs> 
that I ran over a cone yesterday, and I think that's what fucking knocked the intercooler, bro. Running over a fucking cone? Are you kidding me? That's it? Jesus. So I did a little preventative stuff this time. I took, because all I have right now was this uh, 3M stuff, and this actually isn't too bad of padding. Um, I didn't peel this part, but what I did was I, I cut this whole thing lengthwise in half, and then I, I layered it underneath the hood where I was actually hitting uh, before on the grill, which is fucking it up. So what, what you notice about mine is my hood tucks over this grill pretty much almost all the way through. And I, I layered the 3M from here to here so that it wouldn't hit. And then I put on the inside up top too. Um, so yeah, hopefully that stays on. Now I just zip tied it right here, 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 and there. And then I will actually go... When I pull the car out again, I'll go and mount the inner tabs on both sides. But look at that, man. Lip is back on, looking fabulous. Rob Geller, you're the man. The more I sit here, the more I contemplate colors. I know colors are not important, you guys. I know getting the car running is more important than anything. But look at this copper color, okay? This thing looks really good in the sun. Tell me it doesn't. Meh. You can't. I know it looks good, okay? I know the copper looks really good. But... Do I want to do the copper on the whole entire car? Or do I want to go with that green? I don't know, man. The copper is kind of tits. I don't know, man. The copper just looks so good. Copper and purple? Copper and green? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I'll let you guys vote. What do you think I should do? Like the pistachio green? And what I'll do is... I'll actually plug all three of the cars that I got the inspiration from. There's a purple one, a pistachio green one and a copper one, and I think all those guys drive together because they all have pictures together, but I'm in love with all those colors. I think they look really good. A combination of those would be sick, but I don't think that's doable right now. Um, maybe if we did like an all black wrap, and then have like, you know like the HKS design, like the little spurts of like the the red, pink, bolt teal? If we did that, but like copper, purple, green? Oh, that'd be sick. Maybe that's, maybe that's the answer. I don't know, this is, I just love these colors right now.